Hey there, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Logan, and my running mouth, and we have a really fun video for you today. Uh, as the title and thumbnail suggested, we are going a sports card shop shopping or hunting. Um, we're gonna try to go to every sports card store in Portland. There's like five of them um, in one day. It's, uh, it's almost noon. And I don't want to be out until 10 p.m. So hopefully we can get them all done in, you know, four or five hours. But uh, we're going to be on the way and we'll have a lot of fun. We're going to check out the stores. We're going to bring you inside with us and maybe we'll buy a sports card or two. Uh, maybe the owners will be kind enough to show their faces on camera. We will see. So, all right, let's head on over to our first sports card shop in Portland. Hi, here we are at our first store. It is, oh, it's the UPS store. I have to drop off some packages first. So let me go do that and then we'll head to the card store. All right, see you in a bit. So we're here at the sports room. This is our first stop of the day. And uh, we just went inside and we met with the, the owners of the shop, um, Nathan and um, Scott, both really, really cool guys. Uh, and they have a really fantastic shop. I'm really excited to bring you inside and show you all the cool things they have. Uh, and maybe if I buy something then, then what I end up picking up from these guys. So let's head on over. They've been here since 1984 and the owner Nathan just bought this in December. And my cameraman, camera woman, hey. Jazzy J is here with me and we're gonna go inside and have some fun. Okay, we are headed inside the sports room. Let's go on. All right, well, here we are, the sports room. We'll go over there and say hi to them in just a moment, Nathan and Scott, but let's take a look. Look at all of this stuff. We got everything. We have soccer, you have hockey, all back there memorabilia real john la man that's really cool look at back there you got helmets footballs and you have again you have baseball you have basketball football soccer hockey everything this is all hockey and especially nice piece is right over here come on over the number six is in that stadium. Say hello to Tom Brady. So that's an autographed Tom Brady football, a more recent addition to the shop. Really, really cool. But as you can see, lots of memorabilia, Tyson versus Holyfield, Gary Payton, Calvin Murphy, Gordon Hayward. Um, you have mini helmets, all kinds of stuff. Look, look over here. Let's take a look over here. <laughs> so these are all really cool products it's kind of like gold rush where inside you will get autographed memorabilia so you have basketballs you have full-size helmets you have jerseys you have mini helmets looks like you might have a chance of a tom brady autographed football in there as well so i love to rip this on the channel as you have seen me do in the past and they have a lot of this here it's really really cool as you pan over this way though you'll start to see more autographed memorabilia helmets mini helmets jerseys some really cool stuff let's see what we got here we got football here you got a cj stroud right there now that one's only worth 40 because it's just the base rookie card but over here we have a silver prism, that's $200. And you have basketball here, all kinds of cool stuff. You got Kobe Bryant down here. And over here you have baseball. Let's also take a look over here 
all of this wax. So you have some pretty wacky stuff like Garbage Pail Kids, uh, Panini Prime, you got wrestling here. And here, some really cool things too. You have pieces of the past, famous Americans, memorabilia, like relics. You're talking about things from the Declaration of Independence, pieces of history. And then the Holy Grail here is a flawless box of 2020-2022-23 flawless basketball. It is $12,000. Should we get that one today? Maybe next time. Hockey. Football. Basketball. Baseball. Everything. Pretty cool stuff. Let's head over here for a second and say hi to the owners here. Nathan, Nathan, thank you so much for welcoming, welcoming us into your store. And we have Scott here. Hello. Thanks a lot, guys. Not so, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm more the IT guy, the guy helping with the merchandising. Friend, helping out, right. supporter, supporter of the, the store. So, and you guys have, the store has been here since 1984, but you just bought this in December. Got it, that's really cool. And good decision, bad decision? <laughs> great decision. Great decision? Okay, yeah, that's he's great. A lifelong card collector and spent a lot of money in here for what, 14, 15 years yeah. before acquiring yeah. it. So. so now you get to live your, your passion. Oh yeah. Your work, your work and passion has, has merged. Well, in some cases though, people will say that that kind of dumbs down and like makes, makes your passion less fun because it's work. I don't know, you give him a pack that's unopened and he's like a kid in the store, it doesn't matter. That's great, yeah, that's you great. To, you, you get to see more things. Well, and on top of that, now you have supplier relationships where the box will cost you less money than it would have before. In a sense. Yeah. In a sense. In a sense, yeah. <laughs> They're still expensive though, it's we know that. Price. They're still very expensive. Yeah. E even at wholesale price. cost, the odds of you making your money back are still very low, right? right? Very low. I think the coolest part is what people bring in. Uh, whether it be consignment or yeah. if they want money, if they need money today. You know. How much of your stuff, I mean, obviously not boxes, but like cards and memorabilia, how much of this has come from you buying from people walking in the store? Just a, lot. a lot. Okay, okay. That back room has a collection of things. It could be somebody passing and they have a collection that like the wife or whatever yeah. didn't care yeah. at all about. Yeah. And yeah. You got 30 baseball signed or, you know, a cool uh, jersey signed by Jordan or, or That's a collection awesome. with. Uh, Bo Jackson with the that's bag, so you know, cool. the classic, but it's like a giant one in a matte frame. It's just one-offs that are so That's cool. awesome. That's awesome. All right, well, I really appreciate you guys letting me showcase your place, your store. Um, I'm going to keep looking around, see if there's something I want to buy. And if I do get something, then we'll record that. But if not, we'll see you at the next store. So, bye-bye, guys. All right, thanks a lot. Awesome. All right, so... I was looking through this case here, and there's a lot of really cool things. Scoot Henderson, uh, you got uh, a lot of Kobe stuff here. I even say, I see, I see Anthony Davis, some cool stuff, but this is what caught my eye. This is what really caught my eye. I do not have a Kyrie Irving autograph card yet, so this is really cool. It is from 2018-2019 Opulence Basketball. Um, it's called Lug Luxurious Luxurious Autographs, numbered to 25. And Nathan, um, we're gonna do a deal. He's gonna do it for 170. So I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a fair price and um, good deal. So let's uh, go buy this card. <laughs> After we buy this card, we're gonna head over to the next card store. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are back. Uh, we're here at our second store. This place is called, as you can see behind us, Cards and Hobby. Not and, Cards and Hobby, okay? Make sure you get that right when you look it up. Uh, they have sports cards, but they have other stuff too. So it's a pretty cool setup, really nice store, nice people inside. Let's head on inside. All right, here we are. So as you can see, Cards and Hobby, uh, they got all kinds of stuff, Panini, Tops, Pokemon. They do consignment. Let's head inside. Hello. Okay, you're going in. So as you can see, really, really cool setup here. 
Hey, look, they even have an entertainment area here. Couches here, a nice TV. Over there, the same thing. So you could see, like, it's a cool, chill vibe in here. Look, I mean, if you turn around here, you could even see the design of their interior. It's really cool. So it's a little bit different than from the kind of the older card shops that you have probably been to a lot. So uh, more of a modern feel to it, uh, more chill. As you can see, all kinds of boxes here on the shelves. You got retail football. You even got national treasures over there, right up top there. So that's pretty cool. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> My cameraman doesn't know what national treasures is. Uh, lots of Pokemon. All right. You all these cases here. Sealed Pokemon. You also have sealed Pokemon on that side too. Um, here you have a lot of sports cards, boxes, sealed boxes, and then now you start getting into the uh, sports card singles here. This is kind of a mix. You've got mostly football, you got some basketball in here, um, basketball down there, some cool stuff. And you have, look at um, all the way on the left there, you have Marvel. Mm -hmm. So we got some baseball down there. And then as we come over here, more sports. We have football on top here, a little bit of baseball, but football, basketball, some really cool cards. Look at this one here. Let's zoom in on this one here. Jalen Tolbert from my Dallas Cowboys, Panini one. Over here, you have a Kaboom. That's pretty cool from Absolute. And you have multiple layers, and probably their nicest card, their nicest sports card that I've seen is of Stephen Curry. Let's go take a look right there. Right there. It's hard to see, but let's zoom in there. This is from 2022 Leaf Vivid. It's an autograph card. Pretty nice. So. And one of the really big features of this store is they have tons of Pokemon. So let's turn around and see all of this Pokemon here. They got shelves and shelves of Pokemon. If you look back here, one of their highlight cards here is a Charizard Hollow that's $500 from 1999. Glare. That is really cool. And then probably the nicest Pokemon card they have displayed here, right down there, Erica's. Hipstly for $1,500. Guys think I should pick up that today? Start a Pokemon channel? But there you have it. It's a cool place. Definitely if you're in the area, come by and check it out. And um, let's head on over to the next store. All right, see you in a bit. Okay guys, man, big, big news. Uh, we were starving, looking around for places to eat. We went to this place, Progress Grocery and Deli. We just had to find something to eat because each card store is like an hour and a half to two hours, right? So it's lunchtime and yeah, it's like 3.30 right now. So we went inside and this is what I found. You'll never believe what I found. Unbelievable, look at this. world's fine finest chocolate guys they did it congratulations they did it the world's finest chocolate i mean this is huge right i mean one two three bars of the world's finest chocolate right here in portland oregon i told you you wouldn't believe what happened and that's it we found world's finest chocolate <laughs> oh prank 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 so i hope you guys don't hate me uh for for doing that and having uh, a hook in my title i'm sure a lot of you will claim clickbait but cool stuff here at these stores we're gonna head to our third store now which is actually just down the street uh in reality i got this from a fred meyer all right we are here at the final destination for today uh, we were not able to see every sports card store. There's just too many and it takes too much time. 
every time I go into a store, it's like three hours. <laughs> maybe not three hours, but it's at least an hour, hour and a half, maybe two, depending. But uh, we're here at the last one, Hoodies Collectibles. As you can see, they have sports cards, memorabilia, uh, consignment, all of that great stuff. So we're gonna head inside and show you around. It's a really cool place. All right, here we go. All right, hi, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, this is it, this is Hoodies Collectibles. It's a really cool store. Uh, we got Austin over here. He's managing the store today. Uh, we met Max on his way out. Um, and the owner, what's his name? Uh, Tate. Tate. Okay. Owner's Tate. So he's not here today, but uh, I think at the Bend location, yeah, right? Exactly. Cool, but awesome stuff. I mean, look around, lots of sports card sealed packs of wax, sealed product um, all along the back there. I mean, everything, you have Obsidian, Prism, Limited. I mean, you name it, it's all here. Um, a lot of really cool singles here in the cases. You got football. I see CJ Stroud right there. Wild card, Matt, CJ Stroud. 200 bucks, that is not bad to 15, that's pretty cool. Dan Marino, he has some cool, cool cards here. Uh, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, that is really cool. Has National Treasures, probably game worn, back in a time when more things were game worn. Lots of baseball here. We got more football, more baseball baseball and then here's where basketball starts we have basketball here actually come look at this this is really cool presentations jason tatum i have that card in my case right now at home uh, actually a little tiny area of soccer and hockey not much and boxing or ufc not much but hey they have something for everyone here basketball more basketball, some really cool stuff. Lots of Blazer stuff. Look at this, you have an old school Clyde Drexler rookie. Really cool. You got a whole stack of Blazers here, you can see. Look at this. Look at that, Blazers, Blazers. We are in Portland, so you gotta have this. But there's also more. You got retail over here. You got you got um, single. Or these are, are storage boxes here and and uh, <clears throat> supplies. And then across this back wall, you have some other really cool things. And if you look up, actually, jerseys, lots of jerseys, autograph memorabilia, some really cool stuff. My favorite. If you come back here, my favorite right there, Troy Aikman. There we go. Maybe next time I come, we'll, we'll take that one. <laughs> that is a really cool sign, autographed jersey with, uh, with a really nice display case and two pictures. You got Josh Allen here. Now that obviously is worth the most uh, for $7.99. That is not bad. But uh, really cool stuff. We have a whole bunch more in the back here. You got Doncic, Luca. You got Justin Herbert here. Awesome stuff. You got some basketballs up there. But some really, really cool stuff. We're super excited. So the payoff of this video, I know I teased you with chocolates, but I actually have something better than chocolates. Let's go take a look. We ended up buying a couple really cool cards for our game on the 11th. And Austin, Austin's got them here for us right there. So. We have two cards, both Warrior cards. We did pick up a Clay Thompson auto. That is a rookie auto from 2012 Panini Contenders. And the big card here, Stephen Curry from 2021 Spectra. It's special too. It's not only Mint 9, but if you turn it around, numbered to 49. Number nine of 49. So a sweet, sweet card. 
you will see more cards like this at the game on the 11th, but this is my first non-leaf kind of first license card of Stephen Curry, autograph card of Stephen Curry, so super excited. And uh, thanks a lot for yeah, letting you. us film yeah, and letting in. us share Great your cards. store and Great giving us cards. giving us some good deals. You bet. Appreciate you bet. it. My pleasure. All right. We'll see you around again. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It will really help out the channel. And come by and check out these stores, really cool stores. I'm sure there's something here for you. All right. Bye-bye now.